we are back again in Way the Hunter, and just for no reason at all walking past this particular part of the Trophy Lodge, but there is a new DLC that just came out a couple of days ago, and I'm really excited about it. So if we run into the shop section here with the computer, there is, under vehicles, three new UTVs, and you can see they cost 40,000 in-game cash, which, while that's expensive, I actually like that we're going to have a reason to try to make money beyond a couple thousand to tax things. So to look at them real quick, they have a max speed rating of medium, acceleration rating of fast, and vehicle handling agile. Compare that to the Jeeps, max speed is high, so the Jeeps are going to be faster, but they're slower to accelerate and average handling, so they're going to be not as good to handle as the UTVs. So at this stage, we're about 15k shy of being able to buy one, and hopefully through missions, We'll be able to get there by the end of the hunt so let's take a look at what we can do and we'll dive in and try to make some money and this is actually perfect timing for the release because i've been looking at these challenges and wondering when would be the perfect time to do them so we'll take a look at some of these and see if there are any that we can make money with and we'll work on the missions at the same time to try to kind of kill two birds with one stone and so for instance with this one all we have to do is harvest a moose with a single shot without using a scope and we'll make 1800 credits. I think that's the perfect kind of thing to do with this. And I don't know that I've shot anything with no scope in this game, but we're about to try. So it took some time because I learned the open sights are not that helpful, but if you use the hunter sense and get the gun positioned appropriately, it's probably hard to see, but there's a little red dot that indicates where we need to aim. And the one problem I see here is this moose is just determined to walk right to us, but I kind of think if we just move around a little bit kind of carefully, he'll see us, open up a shot into the chest, and that is going to bring him down. Now, we do need a single shot, so no follow-ups to try to get him down quicker. We'll have to let him drop. And I chose to shoot the bull over the cow that's back there just in case we can actually get the money from selling the moose itself. I don't think we can. I believe... When you use an animal for a mission, you can't sell it, but we'll see. So when we go to claim, I think we should get the option to use it for a mission, or maybe we don't. Even still, only 362 credits. They may have balanced the moose, because they were like 1,300 at least the first one we ever shot. Got them in the heart there with the open sights. I don't see anything other than sell, and that does the mission. So not only do we get the, was it 1,800 credits for completing the mission, we got another almost 400 on top of that, just for getting the moose. Now in the meantime, it also is mountain goat drink time, and we have a mission where we need about 120 more pounds of mountain goat meat to complete. We worked on this one on stream, and I think we actually shot two mountain goats with the wrong gun, or we'd already have this done, but I think we're just going to try to choose a male from a distance here. I'd like to get close enough to spot him, but is what it is, we are trying to get credits here. So. I think that is a male there. That one certainly is. So let's just go for that one. That will certainly suffice. I would imagine that's a hard shot. And I believe mountain goats are like 200 plus pounds. So using the correct weapon in the 270 here, we should have more than 120 remaining from whatever meat gets damaged. And so hopefully, either this could have been like a five star or something that would be great, or just low enough genetics that we're not messing anything up. It doesn't look like a five star, but it looks kind of decent. We just got a double lung shot there at 330 yards. 69% adult, one star, and he's 200 pounds even. So we got, out of that, 205 pounds. So we can sell that, and that's going to do that mission. And just like that, we are already approaching 30k. So what I'm going to do now is bounce around all the campsites, pick up all those challenge papers, and also get to the next mission. And we'll try to just choose what makes the most sense what we can do quickly from there.
this hunt got really crazy really fast. Just a couple thousand credits from the 40k mark we needed, we spotted a 5 star black bear just about 300 yards away while looking for a 2 star moose. I decided if it would step into the clearing, I'd go for the shot since it seemed to be leaving his own. And luckily just a few moments later, he stepped into the clearing and it was time to go for the shot at the first ever 5 star black bear we've seen. I have always struggled in this game with moving shots on black bear and in this case it was no different upon arriving at the blood the information even said the animal survived now we've got to track this thing with very little blood and try to get another shot in it fortunately though it actually ended up calling and in a bizarre stroke of luck i even had the predator caller and was able to bring him in and get a second opportunity at a much closer range and after waiting for what felt like forever for him to step out of the brush, we finally got the shot just 50 yards away. And this time at such a close range, we were able to make it. In all the excitement and chaos, I forgot to even take a trophy shot, but we get to see exactly what happened at 283 yards. The shot was way low and way too far forward. As for the second shot, I almost did the same thing. Too far forward for sure, but it got just enough of the right lung to bring it down, plus the artery damage wouldn't have hurt either. We get to see as well 92.7% on the genetics, and I never even thought to look at the total score, but it completed the mission and got ourselves more credits for the UTV. From there, things just continued to get wild. We spotted another 5 star, this time yet another elk, as we're on a mission to harvest a male elk from under 109 yards. After a good 15 minutes of calling back and forth, it was clear he just was not going to come in. So I decided, if possible, I'd go ahead and try to get the shot up there in the trees. Eventually, I spotted him among the other elk moving right to left, and it was just a matter of finding the right gap in the trees to get a shot in there. Finally, he cleared the other elk in the herd, and through a pretty good sized gap, we were able to slot a shot in and seemingly he either dropped or maybe got to take one step before going down from R300. Luckily this time I was thinking a little bit more clearly, certainly helped that we didn't have to make a second shot and we were able to get a nice trophy shot of this elk before going ahead and claiming him. And as we get to see, the 300 wind mag basically dropped him in his tracks with a double lung shot at 223 yards. 95% on the genetics this time and we do get to see he was a 461 score so probably had another year or so to age and potentially get bigger but anytime we see a 5 star we'll take it regardless. And just in case you thought things couldn't get any more ridiculous, as we were moving through the fields just trying to get some more credits we spotted a 5 star wolf by the way still attempting to do that elk mission since we didn't kill the 5 star from under 109 yards. I thought we could move in a little bit closer, I was having a hard time identifying exactly which wolf was the 5 star, and I thought if we could get to 220 or so, it would be just a little easier. The wolves would end up going alert just about 220 yards out, and after some time spent carefully moving the reticle back and forth to try to figure out exactly which one was the 5 star, I settled on the one in the back and went for the shot. Immediately, with no obvious characteristics to identify one wolf from the next, I lost sight of the one that we had shot, but it didn't take long to get back on target, and it looked fairly clear that we had made a fatal hit with the 270. I got to thinking about it though, and when considering what happened with the bear, when it turned broadside again, I thought we'd just be certain. Once again, I actually remembered to take a nice photo of the wolf, and then it was time to find out if we actually shot the right one, and we ended up making the lung shot at 227 yards to begin with. I was very surprised the wolf kept on going, but hitting him in the neck 287 yards away dropped him in his tracks, and it was indeed the 5 star wolf with a 92% genetics and a 487 score, which is surprisingly high for just being a 92%. But finally this time, that ends our run of 5 stars just as we were trying to earn credits, and you can see 
we were just about one kill away from getting to 40k. So finally, we're at the point where one more mission will put us over the 40k required to get a UTV, and all we need to do is take a bull elk from under 109 yards, so I would prefer this uneven one in the back, because I'm pretty sure even though he's a one star young, he's not going to have good genetics, and they're slowly working their way this way, so so long as we kind of keep calling, and we'll probably wait till that resets, he's only got to sneak another 5-ish meters, I don't even know that we need to do that. Let's just slowly move ourselves up there. They do know we're here. We need like a meter though. And he's kind of sneaking towards us. I think this will work. Let's go for that. We'll zero for a hundred. And that's pink blood anyway. Surprise, it's not a hard shot, but that'll get him down. And honestly, even if we don't complete the mission, we are so close that we'll be able to afford the UTV, but we've gotten ourselves into this situation now where we shot three different five-star animals, and I've got relatively grand plans for the Trophy Lodge and what we're going to do with them that we're actually going to need to earn a lot more credits, but first we'll worry about the UTV and figure that out afterwards. And so, a relatively lengthy track, all things considered, but 105 yards, that's going to do the mission. We hit him in the heart with the 300. That's the toughest elk we've ever encountered, but we can go ahead and sell that, get the extra 450, complete the mission, and now we're at 40,800, which means we have a long way to go till we can tax everything in the ways that I want to, because I want to do, I think, the multi-mount with the black bear and a moose, because we had the five-star moose from long ago. I don't know what we're going to do with the wolf yet, and then the elk will just put on the wall. But, in order to do some of those things, we're also going to have to take other things down and retax them, so that's going to be expensive too. So just to show what I'm talking about, this particular platform has a mount where we can do the black bear towering over a moose. I think it's going to be that one right there. So we'll have a five star moose and a five star black bear. We then will need to retax the mule deer over here because this platform can't have the moose and the bear, but it can have all three of the mule deer. So that's essentially what we're going to do. And it's just going to require a lot of credits. As for the UTV though, we can finally afford it, and of course we can only buy one, but I'd imagine you guys can guess which of the three I'm going to buy. There's a camo one, and I think we are going to go with that. By the way, the three colorations, there's the Predator, this camo color, the Deluxe is red, and then the Safari version, which I kind of... Could that be a hint towards something in the future? Because it's a really odd decision to do that in a game that only has a North America and a European map. So, some to look forward to for sure, but for now we're gonna go with the Predator, spend basically all of our credits, and let's go jump in and see how it does. As far as the model goes, I quite like it. Is there storage in the back? There is, so we can swap through inventory if we need to. But mostly what I'm interested in is the handling of this thing. The biggest issue with the Jeeps is like whipping around turns and stuff, most times you just kind of go flying. It's fast. Frankly, it feels faster than the Jeep, probably because of acceleration. I feel like you go anywhere you want in this. The frames kind of cost me the turn there more than anything because I'm dropping frames from going too fast. I kind of like it. So the big question then is, can it go like up steep terrain? Because this kind of stuff is fine, but it's often in areas you want to hunt if it's flat. Look at all the deer. Would it be quieter than a jeep? I doubt it. But they did let us get pretty close. So I would say that traveling up into the mountains by road is one thing, but the real question is how good does this thing do off-road? And I think we're going to find out. By the way, it's smoke a little bit already. It, while it handles really well, because of the fast acceleration, it just sometimes you don't expect it to go as fast as it does and, you know, stuff like that happens. But, you know, for mountain trekking in particular, if you want to just get up the mountain and maybe go after bighorn or mountain goats, I don't think it does half bad. I wouldn't expect the Jeep to do this well. It's as if the, the grade of this hill doesn't really matter. 
I do like, is it worth 40,000 in-game credits? Maybe not necessarily when you already have the map entirely unlocked, which I don't know that you'd have that many credits until you have most of the map unlocked. Because if we look at it, rarely are we more than like, I don't know, half a mile from any campsite that we'd want to fast travel to. But if you do want to just kind of skip the walking, it can get you anywhere you want to go pretty fast. Oh god. <laughs> but I think before I do irreparable damage to this thing trying to get through the trees, we're going to just... Alright. Well. <laughs> it's broken now. But I want to take it for like a actual hunt. Probably drive around down in the valley down through the river and stuff. Where potentially we can spot stuff before it spooks them. And just kind of see how we do. This is a little more like it. I don't know that we're going to have many encounters like this in the mountains with this thing, but it's fairly easy, especially being so open. Like, it, it's a low-profile vehicle. You can see a lot, especially in the third-person camera. It's not hard to spot a herd of deer even 500 yards away. So we'll go up there. We'll try to get a shot. Then we'll go back to the UTV and bring it up because I think we just have to get the vehicle in a trophy shot. And I think this guy will be a... Perfect candidate for that. A two-star mature, one that we want to take out, and looking pretty great. So probably towards the end of his age cycle. So let's go ahead. I think we'll zero for 164. Maybe aim just a touch high. And that's going to drop him there. I was hoping he may sort of drop on his chest, just so his antlers would be visible for this, but that'll work. You know the biggest problem with this thing? The temptation to just go pedal to the metal the entire time is just too high. I don't know if it's possible to, like, have a different speed. Like, if you were to hold down the throttle the entire time but not go max speed, I wouldn't mind that, but I can't say I would actually use that feature if it existed. So let's see, can we actually make this look halfway decent? It might take some positioning. I think I accidentally learned something. You can sort of, not well, but reposition the animals just a little bit with the vehicle. I can't promise that's not going to cause catastrophic problems. It sort of didn't seem to like it, but this might work. Kind of ends up looking like we hit it with the vehicle, taking a photo like this, but we'll go with it. And we'll take a look at what we got here. This guy, which we did not shoot through the heart. It was actually artery and left lung that caused that drop shot. was an 81% as a two-star mature. That's surprisingly high. Maybe it wasn't as old as he looked, but... Either way, we'll sell that. That'll put us back over a thousand credits. And at this stage, I think I'll go ahead, try to earn some credits kind of off camera. I'm actually going to stream this on Friday. That stream will have already happened by the time this video comes out. But hopefully, through those two things, I'll be able to have enough credits to do the taxidermy I want for the three five stars we have today. And we'll go back and visit that at the end. And naturally, during a live stream that we spent trying to gain credits to taxidermize the animals we already had, we found a way to need even more credits as we stumbled into a brand new 5 star. While attempting to call on a fox for one of the missions that we were working on, a random 5 star badger appeared right in front of us, took off, and fortunately, they don't run that fast. After missing the shot, I was able to scoot to the side and we were able to get him down. Now the hunt rating itself may not have been that good since we shot it with the 270, but at 93%, he ends up scoring 480 flat and contributes to what has been a ridiculous stretch here in Wade Hunter, just trying to get credits and putting us further and further behind as we have to taxidermize more things. And so, in the end, I didn't end up doing exactly what I wanted to as far as the taxidermy in here. We got about 9,000 credits on the stream, and it just wasn't going to be enough to full body mount a bear, remount the moose, redo the mule deer, on top of the other things we had to mount. So, we did get everything displayed for now, and I was kind of surprised this little platform can display a black bear. So we've got our five-star bear there, and when we get enough credits, we will do the multi-mount with the bear and the moose and all that, but for now, at least we have everything in a spot. As for our elk, got this little pedestal mount filled here. I think the only thing for big game we have left is that one in the corner, and this one right here for, like, a deer-sized species. So we're getting somewhere as far as this goes, as we have a lightning strike outside there. Then, I didn't even realize it, but... With the two newest five stars, the wolf and the badger, 
we actually can make a multi mount of its own there, and I quite like this. I didn't really think we'd ever do it, because I never thought we'd get a 5 star badger. I just never see him, rarely shoot him, and he stepped out right in front of us on stream and made it possible. So that was pretty cool to get all those things, and as far as the UTV goes, it's a lot of fun. I can't wait to take that on future hunts, and eventually we'll do more with trophy shots and stuff, because it's just a very cool vehicle, and the ability to just climb any terrain, it can really get you anywhere you want to go quite quickly, and now that we have it and we've gotten the money to kind of work on taxidermizing too, it's going to be fun to bring that on our future hunts. But anyway, that is officially going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.